Hey loves, your girl Anna has returned this time with a lot of new scandals and people getting canceled in the TikTok community. Speaking of cancellations, do you guys happen to know the person who canceled herself for shading the same person? Exactly. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about Zoe Laverne herself and her shading Charlie D'Amelio yet again. I don't so, without further ado, let's see what the heck Zoe Laverne has to give us this week. The fact that Zoe gave us hope that she would learn from her mistakes and stop getting involved in every drama. You're joking. Not another one? But nope. It turns out she is still the exact same problematic Zoe, y'all, since she recently decided to compare herself to Charlie D'Amelio yet again. I'm so darn narcoleptic, I can't even tell my own twin sons apart. It's not your fault. They're identical. Look at them. No, the reason why I'm saying yet again is because there's history between Zoe Laverne and Charlie D'Amelio. And that history is way darker than you may expect, since Zoe gets accused on the daily for being jealous of Charlie. Now, of course, no one made those accusations out of nowhere, since after multiple videos and comments that prove that Zoe is in fact jealous of Charlie's success, it really painted a very bad image of her on the internet. Until this day, y'all, Zoe hasn't actually changed at all. In fact, she thought it was professional of her to throw shade at Charlie D'Amelio earlier this week while ranting on her Instagram Live. Just take a look at this mess. Why do I always have to tell you guys what I do? Um, so and so got um, caught for vaping, and it's an anxiety pen. Oh, uh, shut when you think of I know some of y'all are confused by this short clip, but to give you guys some explanation, the internet has been calling out Zoe for years because she has been caught vaping multiple times before. However, when Charlie D'Amelio got exposed this year for vaping as well, the internet made excuses that it was an anxiety pen. So clearly you can tell that Zoe is not happy with the internet forgiving Charlie when she supposedly did the exact same thing and got canceled for it. Now, unluckily, the hate train towards Zoe hit her hard this time for still mentioning Charlie till this day. Here's how fans reacted to it. Charlie was filmed by her friends. She never promoted it. Also, the fan said that it's an anxiety pen, not Charlie. Charlie never promoted it. She did it privately before she even had a platform. She was influencing no one. LMAO, I don't get the issue. There's a difference between when you vape in front of your 8 to 10 fans than vaping in private. As y'all can already tell, there is just no way Zoe can get away from all of this mess. And obviously, this girl somehow still managed to find a way to run away from the drama by saying this before deactivating all her social media accounts. For right now, it's a long break. If I don't come back in a month, you know I'm gone. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, I love you. Goodbye for now. Thank you for everything. I love you. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Zoe Laverne shading Charlie D'Amelio to this day? Also, do you think she made the right decision running away from social media? Let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, y'all, it's been quite a while now since we heard anything about Mal Trevejo. I laughed. I cried. A number of times. I sweat. I danced. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I think she was dragging her own mother to court the other day. Anyways, this entire month has been quite a mess for Mal Trevejo, since not only is she dealing with her own family problems, but she's also going after men that have literal kids. It's not even a joke. Now, guys, to get straight to the point, well, just recently, Mal Trevejo announced that she will be moving out to live in LA for the moment. And while living her best life out there, Malo has now somehow got exposed for kissing the 22-year-old American boxer Ryan Garcia, who supposedly has a fiance and two kids. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Not a second after this video went viral, Malu got hated on by thousands of people, with some even throwing all the blame on her for allegedly being a homewrecker. Homegirl turned 18 and started going for guys with kids. Didn't she just turn 18? Like, girl, come to F down. They all see that? They both went in for the kiss. She knew what she was doing. And guys, with all of the hate comments coming towards her, surprisingly, Malu thought it was needed to expose the entire truth about Ryan Garcia. Because, well, she 
literally came for his neck by going on an Instagram Live to talk about how Ryan never told her about his fiance or his other baby on the way. And yeah, he never told me that he was engaged. And he never told me that he had another baby coming. She's a whole homewrecker. Why, because someone told me they were single? Y'all tripping. And as if this whole drama couldn't get any more interesting, well, let's just say the entire truth came out when Ryan's fiance, who's currently pregnant with his baby, decided to support Malu by exposing Ryan for being a cheater. Meanwhile, I go visit my family. He tells me he's training hard for this fight, but IG shows me this. Seven weeks till I give birth and this piece of stay being disgusting. While he barely even sees Riley, his daughter with at Catherine Gamez, at King Ryan is a horrible, evil human. And not only that, but Ryan's first baby mother also came forward and dragged Ryan by saying this. God bless Andrea. Oh girl, this drama is literally a roller coaster. But anyways, loves, what's your opinion on this entire situation? Do you think both Mallow and Ryan should take blame for it? Let me know in the comments. Another day, another Sway member getting himself in a huge scandal. Bryce Hall, please give us a break. Stop it! I'm pretty sure we all know by now that the US elections are happening very soon and how many influencers are encouraging their fans every day to not vote for Trump and choose Joe Biden instead. Now, what we didn't expect was that Bryce Hall voted for neither of them, but instead decided to vote for a third party candidate. Yeah, guys, I'm on. Honestly, speechless. It all started earlier this week when the entire internet went insane after a picture of Bryce posing with a Brock for President bus behind him went viral. And as if that wasn't a disaster in itself, Bryce even confirmed later that he will in fact be voting for him in the US elections this year. Interview Brock. I did for the podcast already. Oh, 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 that's dope. I can't wait to listen to it. Hashtag Brock the vote. He's a very interesting guy. Has my vote. Now, guys, I know some of y'all probably expected this from Bryce, but did you also expect the one and only Griffin Johnson to vote for Brock as well? Well, he did. And based on this picture, he basically let the whole internet know about it. Honestly, y'all, I don't know what's happening anymore. Anyways, after this, Bryce and Griffin received tons of backlash for encouraging their fans to vote for a third party candidate. Here's what people had to say about it. Third party vote is a vote for Trump. The votes will split and Trump will automatically win. It's his way of voting for Trump without getting canceled. He thinks he's slick. He's a white cis male. Of course he would be careless with his vote because it literally affects him in no way whatsoever. And while Bryce and Griffin were getting roasted for being literally the worst influencers on the planet, Bryce had the audacity to claim that it was all just a joke and he isn't voting for Brock at all. I'm in Wyoming to encourage the youth to get involved in the political process and to see a state I've never been to. I was making a joke with an acquaintance. He decided to be an asshole and share it. The only person I endorse for president is Mama Hall. Take that to the bank. But yeah, everyone make sure to go vote. Um, Bryce, I don't think voting should be something to joke about in front of your million followers. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Bryce joking about voting for a third party candidate. Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap. Stay safe. I love you so much.